Bright, beautiful, blessed morning unto you. Bright, beautiful blessings and all the blessings I can bless you with Israel through Melchizedek, Yahashua HaMashiach, Señor Jesucristo, our Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Hallelujah, Jehovah, Yehovah Imaku, Yehovah Emmanuel, Hallelujah, Jehovah. Let's get to work and let's read the word for the month, the third month of the third month of this year, commonly known as Savan, the third month, Zebulon. And this month, the word that goes, the word that goes to this month is Jeremiah chapter 23 and Jeremiah 24. Let's start in Jeremiah 23. Woe to shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, declares Jehovah. So Jehovah, the God of Israel, says this against the shepherds who shepherd my people. You have scattered my flock and have driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, says Jehovah, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the lands where I have driven them there. And I will bring them again to their fold and they shall be fruitful and multiply. And I will raise up shepherds over them who will tend them, and they will fear no more, nor be terrified, nor will they be missing anything, says Jehovah. Hene, hene matov Jehovah Israel. Hene, behold, the days come, says Jehovah, that I will raise to David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and act wisely, and shall do justice and righteousness in the earth. In his days, Yahudah shall be saved, and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is his name, that he shall be called Jehovah Zedkenu, Jehovah Zedkenu, Jehovah our righteousness. Jehovah Zedkenu is his name. He shall be called Jehovah Zedkenu. Now therefore behold the days come, says Jehovah, that they shall no more say as Jehovah lives on, who brought the sons of Israel up out of the land of Egypt, but as Jehovah lives on, who brought up and led the seed of the house of Israel out of the land of the north, and from the lands where I have driven them there, and they shall dwell upon their own land. My heart within me is broken concerning the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man. I am like a man passed out by wine because of Jehovah and because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers. For the land is full of adulterers. My God, Jehovah, is not the God of confusion, but my God, Jehovah, is the God of Shalom Shalem. My God is not Yahweh, the God of confusion, and my God is not Yahuwah. No, not the God of deception. I already destroyed Yahweh. His kingdom I give to Jehovah, and I destroyed Yahuwah, and I destroyed him. Oh, they came to murder me, so they were destroyed because they're murderers. All right. Yahuwah was a blue man, a blue man, a big giant blue man with a gold crown sitting on a gro uh, gold throne. And Yahweh, he had an Egyptian headdress on. He had an Egyptian headdress on when he came to murder me. And I took him down into the lake of fire and destroyed him and destroyed his throne. Yahuwah, I destroyed up in the heavens because the Holy Spirit of Yehovah told me to. A little dove can destroy your God. Your God must not be the most high God. Again, Yahweh is the God of confusion and Yahuwah is the God of deception. Yehovah is the God of peace. Shalom, shalem. Choose whom you will serve. For me and my house, we will serve Yehovah. We will serve Yehovah. Yehovah ha'adon of shalom, shalem. The Prince of Peace, Yahashua Hamashiach, Yeshua, Jesu Christo, the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. I, because of Jehovah and because of the words of His Holiness, for the land is full of adulterers, for the land mourns because of a curse, because of them. 
for the land for the land is full of adulterers for the land mourns because of a curse the pastures of the wilderness are dried up and their way is evil and their might is not right for both prophet and priest are ungodly yea i have found their evil in my house says jehovah so their way shall be to them as slippery places in the darkness they shall be driven out and fall by it psalms 35 be fulfilled upon them their way shall be slippery in darkness they shall be driven out and fall by it and the holy angels shall persecute them <clears throat> for I will bring evil upon them even the year of their visitation says Jehovah and they shall perish in the year of their visitation they shall perish they shall die in their judgment in their visitation saith Jehovah El Elyon El Olam El Shadi El Gibor El Roi El Shimchagili El Rachum Jehovah Aloha Jehovah Hamolek Olam and I have seen frivol frivolity among the prophets that means like they're trifle they're trifling frivolity they're not important at all all the stuff they're speaking has no importance it's frivolous it's trifling they're trifling and i have seen frivolity trifling among the prophets of samaria they prophesied by lord by Baal, by Lord, by Baal, and caused my people Israel to go astray because they did not use the spirit of prophecy through Yahovah. I have also seen a horrible thing among the prophets of Jerusalem. They commit adultery and walk in falsehood, and they make the hands of evildoers strong so that not a man returns from his evil. They are all of them like Sodom to me, and her inhabitants are like Gomorrah. So Jehovah of armies, so Jehovah of hosts says this concerning the prophets. Hene, behold, I will feed them wormwood and make them drink poisonous water. For ungodliness has gone forth from the prophets of Jerusalem into all the land. So says Jehovah of hosts, do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesied to you. They make you vain. Lord or Baal is the God of vanity. So if they're prophesying for Baal or Lord and Jehovah's saying they make you vain, that confirms what I told you that Lord is the God of vanity. Boom! Confirmation right there. Jehovah told you they will make you vain. Do not listen to the words of the prophets of Lord or Baal who prophesied to you. They will make you vain, for their God, Lord, or, or Baal, is vanity. Yes, Jezebel's God is vanity. His name is called Lord, or Baal. Many will say, Lord, Lord, and Yahashua HaMashiach, Yeshua, will say, Depart from me, I never knew you. And you never knew me. Yehovah Tikvati. Jehovah is my hope, and such hope never disappoints, deludes, or shames me. For Jehovah's perfect love, pure love, true love, divine love, unfailing love has been poured into my heart through the Holy Spirit, has been poured into our heart, our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Those of you who are sealed like me unto Jehovah and to Yahashua HaMashiach through the Archangel Gabriel who marked me and who will mark you. I was marked by the Archangel Gabriel and I said, what is this marking that you gave me? He marked me in Colorado in the wilderness. He said, this marking is for those in Ezekiel who mourn and cry, those who are mourning in Zion, Raphael. And then later on, I was marked with this, which is the name of Yahashua. It means Jehovah saves, Yah saves, Jehovah is Yeshua, Jehovah is salvation. My God, God is salvation. Now do not listen to the prophets, the words, the prophets of Baal, Lord, who prophesy to you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart. Not out of my mouth, Jehovah says. They don't speak out of my mouth. No. They say to those who despise me. See, they speak to those who despise Jehovah. Because the majority of people who worship Baal or Lord or Yahweh or Yahweh. 
Hua despise Jehovah. They despise Jehovah Eloa, Jehovah the true God. Remember, another name for Satan is Yahweh or Elohim. I'm just telling you the truth. Wake up, people. Who are you serving, Uwe or Jehovah? They say to me, they say to those who despise me, Jehovah has said, you shall have peace. And they say to everyone who walks in the stubbornness of their own heart, evil shall not come on you. For who has stood in the council of Jehovah and has seen and heard his word? Who has listened to his word and heard? Behold, the tempest of Jehovah has gone forth in fury, even a whirling tempest. The tempest of Jehovah will whirl upon the head of the wicked now. The anger of Jehovah shall not turn back until Jehovah has executed and until Jehovah has made up the purposes of his heart until Jehovah has fulfilled the purposes of his heart. In the latter days, in the latter days, you shall understand this perfectly. I have not sent the prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they have stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they would have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. They would have told you, repent, repent, come back to Jehovah, taste and see that Jehovah is good, that Yeshua is good.